Samsung Galaxy J7 Prime, tear down and reassemble. Warning, you are performing this repair at your own risk. We claim no responsibility for any damages that might occur. To perform this DIY repair, you will need plastic triangle opening tool, nylon spudger, SIM card ejection tool, fine tip curve tweezers, precision knife set, premium 2mm red adhesive roll, multi-purpose heat gun, professional Phillips screwdriver, playing cards, Power down the Samsung Galaxy J7 Prime. Eject the SIM card tray and SIM card and micro SD card tray from the side of the Samsung phone. The 5.5 inch Galaxy J7 Prime display assembly is glued on solidly and is a tight fit within the frame. Apply heat to soften the adhesive. Use the precision knife to create enough space to insert a playing card. With the playing card, slice through the sticky adhesive and carefully decouple the Galaxy J7 Prime screen from the phone. The display assembly is still connected to the Samsung phone, so don't try to remove it entirely just yet. Remove the bracket that covers the display cable. Detach the cable from the motherboard and free the Samsung Galaxy J7 Prime display assembly. Peel up the three pieces of black tape. Remove the following 16 Phillips screws. The Galaxy J7 Prime midframe is secured by snug, press fit notches. Use the triangle opening tool to release the clips and separate it from the rear enclosure. Pry the Galaxy J7 Prime loudspeaker up from the metal housing. The next two components extracted are ribbon cables that contain the volume button switches and power button switch. The Samsung Galaxy J7 Prime power and volume buttons are nuzzled securely in the rear case. Define conventional removal. Disconnect the three cables from the motherboard. Remove the following two Phillips screws. Carefully lift out the Galaxy J7 Prime motherboard. Remove the impressive 8 megapixel Galaxy J7 Prime front facing selfie camera. Detach the 13 megapixel Samsung Galaxy J7 Prime rear facing camera from the motherboard. Tweeze out the spring contact connected Galaxy J7 Prime earpiece speaker. Remove the vibrator from the chassis. Pop out the capacitive sensor for the bottom recent button. Remove the Galaxy J7 Prime home button and fingerprint scanner from the midframe.
The next component to surrender is a cable array that includes the 3.5mm headphone jack, a signal cable, and the capacitive sensor for the bottom back button. A good amount of adhesive secures the 3300 mAh Samsung Galaxy J7 Prime battery to the midframe. With help from the triangle opening tool, we free it from the adhesive. All the replacement parts and repair tools used in the video are available at www.fixeasy.com. Make sure to take a look at our other DIY smartphone and tablet repair tutorials. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter.